I did it. I don't know. I beat someone. Oh, we are live out here in Chi Town. You know what it is. Right, are we, we're we're are not in Chi Town and whatnot. I'm not right. Chi Town, so we're just gonna ignore it. But of course, you had to bring it up. <laughs> It was it's Chi Town in Chicago, bro. And, oh yeah, of course. But I we're would, we're in Detroit. I would I would know that. And we have we have a match that many have seen before. Yeah, Nam K7 Nam versus K7. Did I'm they pretty, play the last weekly? Did they? I don't know. I wasn't here. If they played the last weekly, that means this is their third weekly in a row. Ooh. I know a couple, or maybe not. I might be forgetting one, but I know I, I, I know be, one of them. Yeah, I wouldn't be too surprised if these guys meet in bracket, you know. Yeah, I know there was one week where Nam was in grand finals. Uh, versus K7 from the loser side. And I'm not really sure of the set count, but he oh, just K7 went off. Oh, ended up winning, right? Yeah, he went off and down aired in SD literally a 0%. Oh. Nam was definitely feeling the pressure. Yeah. But you can you can definitely be confident that a top player like that won't make those kind of state mistakes for the morning. Yeah. Ooh, K7 didn't get the fastball on that. That would have been a footstool, but yeah. mostly just a set in panic. That would, probably wouldn't have actually killed since Nam had his jump. Yeah. One sev, K sev, one sev. One thing K sev is really good at is reading when and when you are in going to shield. Yeah, and he's really good on the ledge, man. Oh yeah. Well, You're, Fox, yeah, that's right just there. Fox. Yeah, that's true. Was that he, a jump up? I'm pretty sure. I think. I think it was a jump up too. Because he didn't have enough time. Because it looked like it was too early for that back air to connect yeah. with just a normal get up. Yeah. Oh what? Oh, he doesn't have a jump. Oh, he's, okay. I don't know if Kesev didn't notice or he didn't want to go for anything. Horns up bees. Ridiculous with his hitboxes. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to really challenge that off stage. Yeah, especially it's, as Fox and, like, at a high percent and stuff. It's not even, like, a really good disjoint can, like, you know, fight that up. Yeah, with Falcon, you have to be super precise, hit him right in the middle. Yeah. And even then, like, it depends on timing. Yeah. He's up airs, though. Kesev is definitely running up away with this. Up airs the dream. That's a risky side B, but he didn't get punished immediately. Yeah. Do you think this matchup, uh, and maybe maybe it's too early to tell like for the future, but like this matchup, do you think this is in Fox's way? Um, you know, no, I don't. I think it's in Corrin's favor. Yeah. Uh, from what I've off seen. Off stage especially. I feel off like stage, yeah. Really. Uh, I hope Nam doesn't hear this and kill me, but I've seen a lot of like the Texas tournaments they do, the weekly ones. Turn the locator and stuff. Oh, Mega Fox is he there? Uh, yeah, he's, he's there sometimes. I forget who it was. Uh, well, that should kill. There's a really good corn there who was getting first for a while, and he was beating all the foxes. And it just he made it seem like you can tell it's a bad matchup for the fox. Just yeah. long disjointed characters who can combo. Kind of just is, like Cloud. Yeah, is, Cloud. Yeah. Cloud's a bad matchup. Corn's a bad matchup. Both for similar reasons. Yeah. That was a really good. Uh, was that up till up air? I think so. I believe so. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Sound, that sounds exactly like what one. Those through. are really hard to get. Fox's up tilt is like hard to time when it's going to end. Yeah. It feels like it has more lag than it does. That was pretty convincing. Out there. Yeah, it yeah. was. Pretty solid. I'm sure. but, but with a lot of like matchups like that and stuff, if you don't know one or two aspects of a matchup or you lose one or two situations, it can be like, it can seem like it's a bad matchup for you. Like I've had a lot of times where I couldn't, I just can't figure out a character and I've so desperately just wanted to blame it on the matchup and throw it away. Yeah. But it, it just takes a little bit of extra studying in that yeah. category. You gotta not get hit by also, don't roll behind and like try and like stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. I definitely see what you're saying. I'm like that with every character. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few characters left I'm like that with because it's a benefit of playing online. Yeah. I, I have like Zelda experience. Oh yeah. 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 Nobody has Zelda. I know. It's it's funny. It's funny to think the characters I do know, but yeah. I still can't beat like Little Mac, Bowser Jr. Well, maybe Bowser Jr. I don't know. Little Mac can be tough. I I think Little Mac has a decent matchup on Cloud just because that down smash at the ledge or whatever. Yeah. Um, that yeah. That makes sense. But um. Oh, that, if that yeah. side B would have hit Tipper, I don't know about the base knockback of it, but that that thing's insane. It might have. It might have taken too far out. Yeah. It might have killed. Yeah. Ooh, ledge trumps. Right, ledge trumps are be. risky as fuck. Ooh. Ooh, that side B was timed perfectly. No. I think you have like three-ish frames to land that. That was solid. Man. That was really good. That side B, uh, I think if you do it as fast as possible, it comes out like frame five or something. Maybe even quicker. Yeah. That's one of Korn's strongest moves. Well, that was good back here. 
Oh, he oh, read the air dodge, yeah. but he didn't get the up air. Yeah. Now I'm taking this huge lead. If you can get him over 50% extra credit, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say. Oh, man, he was going for some stuff. Oh. That forward smash. And for the 50th time, in case did, that forward yeah. smash did didn't work. Did he just catch that on normal get up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't want a normal get up, really. You don't. You just don't want to be on the ledge against Fox. Yeah, I did that to Ori uh, two times. He took a game off me, super close set, and I kept risking. I go went for up smash uh, with Cloud on his get up, and I got it both times. Thank God. Oh man, yeah. He was playing Cloud. No, he was Sheik. I oh, was you Cloud. Were Cloud. Okay, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't do film. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, Seth's slowly bringing this back. Yeah, he definitely is. Now I'm just gonna want to try and like get momentum back. That's that really good neutral that Fox in general has. His abilities with just shielding and his run speed. Oh yeah, and his frame data. Yeah. And now all of a sudden he's taking the lead back. I don't remember the last time he took any percent. Yeah, it's been a while and maybe not even on the stock. These two have been oh, back and is. forth the whole the whole game. Yeah. Oh, I was I was thinking that too. Wow, that that sidekick comes out of nowhere. Oh, he got it. Yep. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. That that's a little more easy to hit than the side B, which yeah. you got also. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Still though, that, that is uh, that is some good. Uh, that was some that was a good adaptation. Yeah. Uh, a lot of really good punishes from Nam. Yeah, especially after after game one. Like after yeah, yeah, after game one, we were saying he'd probably have to like study this afterwards or something. Like I was I was close to calling it calling it oh game for this. But I was too. Yeah, that's where I was at. I was like, all right. But Fox's low weight and that tipper. The corn has on a couple of her moves. It's a pretty volatile matchup. Yeah. Oh, and I know Kesev really likes Battlefield, but I swear to God, I think that's the best character on Battlefield in the game is Korn. Yeah. Yeah. It's better like, than Cloud. It's than like yeah. That's what I was about to say. It's better than Cloud because her upper like covers more. Covers the whole like it covers yeah. forever. If you have to tech on a platform, you're done. Like, yeah. Yeah. And it kills. Nair now, too, probably. Yeah. Nair. Uh, her up air, her forward airs will combo you to get above her in the first place and stuff. And uh, her up air kills in like Clouds now. So, and it kills Cl earlier than Clouds is used to. Ooh. Oh, I thought he was gonna delay the side B. I was about to, I was about to go handshake him. <laughs> Shake that man's hand. Yeah. Uh, this this just feels like one of the sets that's gonna get the last hit. I'm calling. Yeah. Both unless, of these unless two. Unless runs away. Ooh. Yeah, no, you're definitely right. This is, oh. oh, I thought the stun was going to hit him. That would have been potentially death if the stun would have hit. That's true. Jump up, up uh, side B or something like that. Yeah, he him. rolled in. He had, uh, rolled in. Tech rolled in, and now was charging the thing. So he missed the stun but got hit by the yeah. claw. Yeah. If he would have got hit by the stun, could the, would the follow-up have been side B? Uh, no, the, the follow-up would have been the claw because he was so close to it. Oh, okay. He rolled I in see. towards I see. The claw could have killed him. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling Nam could have gotten a much better punish on that up smash, but that's hard to react to, and it doesn't. Oh my Ooh. gosh! I can't, yeah, yeah. yeah that, he jumped up to side B again, and he got hit by that. That was tipper. super risky, but yeah. Nam, with that crazy foresight to start charging a forward smash for no reason, <laughs> and he got it. Oop. I was kind of yeah. It looks like Kesev was kind of wary of maybe a counter or something. Oh, that was honestly it was a good read. It was just a sad miss. Oh, that up smash doesn't kill because of Battlefield. What did I tell you? Yeah. <laughs> Only for Corrin. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Man, this is tight. They're going to start flubbing. It is tight. Oh, if you want to charge that sun here, that time to side B. I think he was going for the back air to try and catch that. Oh, okay. that up smash. I don't see up smash very often at all. And there you see that. That up air covered like behind him and below him. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nam is definitely running away with this game. We just, saw, we just saw the glitch that I... Uh, Someone posted that happens to Wii Fit Trainer. It happens to all the like uh, liquid kind of projectiles where Nam used the stun in the battlefield platform and it just disappeared instead of going through it. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Oh, he read Ooh. the air dodge, and for the first time I've been proven wrong about that up air. <laughs> for the first time ever. <laughs> oh man. Okay, this is gonna be a really tough climb yeah. for uh, K set here. If anyone, if anyone could do it, it's those old brawl veterans. And I mean, yeah. Nam played brawl too, but. Pretty That's sure K7 was higher on the PR or whatever. This would be honestly, it's an upset. Um, is Nam on the PR this season? I think he is. Uh, I know he had that one really bad, like he didn't get on the PR because he wasn't using characters and stuff. But I'm not sure if he got back onto it this one or not. 
either way, Ksev definitely ranks higher than him. <laughs> yeah, I would say this is definitely an upset. Ksev uh -huh. has always been like a solid number five. On yeah, team. and most people like know how Ksev know Ksev and how he does out of state and stuff. Yeah, Ksev's regarded real highly by most people. Oh, man. That was a beautiful read that just didn't like, connect. Yeah, I feel like he also wanted to go for the the forward air gimp off stage after that. No. Nam is a uh, nervous. Situation. Yeah, Nam, Nam just. Turned around and grabbed Fox after. <gasps> oh! And I definitely That's respect what KSF yeah. went for. That would have won too. in the set. I do too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was a good set, man. I, that was super good. Yeah. That was hype. It was an upset. Great gameplay by both of them. GG now. The last, the last hit, too.